something to happen, and it doesn't happen fast enough. How does it make us feel? If we want something, we're waiting for something to happen, and it's not happening, how does it make us feel? Uh, yeah, we get anxious, don't we? That's one of the symptoms we get, and what else? What else happens? Do we focus very good on other things that we're supposed to be doing, John? The distraction. The big distraction, huh? So what can we do? Because we do it when we're on the mat, when we're training. Can we force it to happen before it's supposed to happen? No. Um, Karen. If she's, um, oh, let's say she's grabbing me, and I'm trying to force it to happen, and she's going to give me resistance. And she might even pull me into her, especially if she was larger. Let's say she was really large, and I try to do this all day long. What happens? to me, mentally and physically. Ellie. Stress. I do get stressed, don't I? Because I'm trying to work against the flow and it's not happening and they're just, of course, they're not just gonna stand there and hold on to it. Other things will start to happen. So what can I do to join that flow again? What can I do? Because we do it on the map all the time. Sapir? Movement that create maybe. Okay, if it's static, then I have to create movement, don't I? But if it's oncoming, like you did earlier, you start moving right before they get to you. You don't stand there and wait for them to get a hold of you, then you move. Sometimes it's it, the time is you know, considered off. So what can we do mentally? We know we can move out of the way, but what do we do mentally? Blend. Blend. We blend. How do we blend? What do we do? What's Makes me move. What's beyond that? My intuition, yes, but what causes? What makes me move? What do I have to have? What kind of a plan do I have to have? Because this is what I'm going to tell you is what we should be doing in everyday life. Because instead of getting struggling and going against the flow and going, why doesn't this happen? I'm waiting for this, I'm doing this, nothing's happening. And then we get frustrated. What is missing? Well, you stop focusing on the point of resistance and open up to other. Okay, so what's that word I'm looking for? Intent. Thought, body, mind, spirit? Yeah, what is the name? What is the subtitle from my first thought? The art of intentional living. You have to live with intent. You can't go with this, you can't have this mindset when you get up in the morning. Well, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. That's not a very good. That's not a very good way to live, is it? It's not a good way to live because you're not creating. You're just gonna go, okay, I'll be just like a leaf at the mercy of the wind. If the wind blows me here, okay, I'll go there. If it takes me here, it'll, I'll go there. What does that mean? You don't have any control over your life, does it? You don't have any goals. Well, I'll just go to class and whatever's gonna happen, I'll just keep going. I won't have any intent. What if, why are you here? Do you ever ask? What are you, are you here to learn? Are you here to learn a better way to live? You're not just learning self-defense. You're here to advance yourself, I hope. Because I'm not just teaching self-defense. You're learning a lot more than that. But the mind leads the body. So if I have an intent that if she grabs me, what? That I'm going to start doing something. So all you can do in life is intend and guide. So let's say you're waiting for something to happen, it's not happening, you're getting frustrated, you're getting anxiety, uh, you're not doing your other work, it's causing that work not to be done correctly. It's like you're stuck and you're getting deeper and deeper, but it's also affecting your health. Because then if you're distracted and you're stressed out because of something, because something's not happening, Whose phone is that? Oh, okay. Uh, do you want to tell them to be quiet? That phone? <laughs> it's a nice tone. It's not distracting. But, uh, it's not like mine. You know. So, why do you think some people age before their time and others don't? Expect to think that 
they get a certain age. Kind of going along and that's right. They think letting things happen. That's right. So they think because society says, well, when you're about this age, you should start slowing down. Do you ever hear that? No, no, you shouldn't. You've already done that. Now you should start slowing down. And now it's almost time to retire. So rather than just thinking they retire from the job, their mindset is they're going to retire from life. So they start doing less and less. They start getting mental anemia. They actually don't get stimulated anymore. They stop learning. They're really only surviving, but without progress. So eventually, they're in their rocking chair. Pretty soon, the rocking chair stops rocking. They just don't have anything to live for because they retired from life, not just from their job, which eventually will happen, but you don't want to retire from life. So that's the mindset. So if you're distracted, and you're stressed out over something because you don't have any control over it, what do you think happens? It even affects the food that you eat because now, because that stress is interfering with the nutrients in your body, so that, ha that ages you too. Did you ever think about that? That's interfering with your immune system because the nutrients, the stress is affecting you inside of you. And we don't think about how stress affects every area of the body, but even it affects the food. And how many of you, how many of you actually, raise your hand, did you ever think about that? You did think about that, that stress affects you? Yeah, because can you eat when you're upset? We do when we're upset, but does it doesn't help us, does it? Because we're not relaxed. And sometimes people eat when they're, what, then just depressed? They don't even taste the food, they just keep eating and eating or they're watching television and they don't even know what they're eating. But pretty soon, bags and bags, they're just eating and eating, but they're not really eating. They're just going through the motion. <clears throat> so that doesn't help them nutritionally either. Their mouths are just, their hands and mouth is busy, that's all. There's no awareness, so that's not really eating in a healthy manner. Okay, so if we don't live with the intent, <clears throat> like let's say again, we're waiting for something to happen, we feel like, what can I do to get this going? We start with an intent. And then we keep doing what we're doing in life, but if we have an intent, then we can allow it to happen. Then it's going to connect with what's supposed to happen. And then we can even use our intuition better because we'll be more open. But if we're stressed, our vibration gets static, then we can't hear anything. We can't hear what we should be hearing. We can't feel our intuition because the stress affects us that much it interferes with even intuition does that make sense our vibration gets static so <clears throat> in order for us to feel energy I can't be stressed and this is what you're learning on the mat it isn't a fight fight mentality it's allowing to join the energy so I can be relaxed, I can be in self-gaze, and I can still get grabbed, can't I? It can still happen, but it helps if I'm relaxed. It doesn't help if I'm having anxiety. Okay, so let's say I'm outside and she's, I'm walking, and she has this intent too, maybe to grab my wrist. But my intent is open, my vibration is clear so that you can be open and ready when you have to be ready. You can feel when you have to feel energy. Okay, so we're walking. She has that intent. You can pick up other people's intent just by being clear. teaching you on the mat how to flow with energy in a relaxed <clears throat> with a relaxed 
mindset so that you don't have to struggle in life when something happens and it doesn't happen when you want it to happen. But what you don't know is things are really happening 30% faster. You just can't see the bigger picture. Things are happening. You're only like this because you're not open. So um, pick a partner. And you can just, you don't have to, you know, depending on how much room you have, they can just be behind you. But get in that relaxed state. And as they grab you, process and deal with it. Just deal with it. But be in a relaxed state. 